Smoky Jay's garage. I am uh, getting ready for winter at the boat here because uh, it's getting to be winter around here. But before I do that, uh, well, I'm, wa I'm waxing it and getting it all ready, but I want to do a video for you on the top five things that you need in your new Yamaha boat or maybe your used Yamaha boat. Now, these are the top five things, according to me, depending on where you boat and what you do with your boat, your top five list may uh, vary just a little bit, but uh, let's jump into mine. We'll head over to the back of the boat. In no particular order, I'm just going to start with the back of the boat because that's where we are and we're going to move forward. These are Thrust Vector X's. Now these are, uh, give you a lot better uh, low speed steering and then when you get up to speed they lift out of the way so they don't give you any drag. Now these are the Thrust Vector X's. These are were the new ones. Uh, since then Jet Boat Pilot has come out with a newer version and these have gone either on sale or completely out of stock. They have a new one called the Thrust Vector, and I believe it's just the Thrust Vector. And rather than uh, your jet wash holding this up out of the water, they've actually got little skis on the back, and the water itself will push them up. Now, I don't have all the details on that. You can go over to Jetboat Pilot's uh, website and find out when they have those available. At the time of filming this, they are not yet available. I believe they're going to come out uh, possibly the end of this year, maybe the beginning of next year. I don't have the exact date on that. I don't work for nor am I affiliated with Jetboat Pilot, but I use some of their products and I think they have good products and I think they have good customer service. So your thrust vectors, that is what I recommend uh, to, on the back of your boat for low speed steering. Those are definitely a must have in my opinion. The number four thing in no particular order, so maybe we could just call this the number two thing, uh, sea deck on the back here. Uh, there's actually a, a fair amount of sea deck that I've added. All of this is from Jetboat Pilot also. I actually bought it through my local dealer. Most of the parts, uh, the most of the pieces they actually had in stock, but they all came from Jetboat Pilot. Uh, I've got these here on either side. Um, that's a good step when you're stepping off of the boat onto the dock. That really is a nice step there. And that, that sea deck there really adds a lot to it, both in looks and functionality. I uh, added the center piece over here uh, along with the naked feet only which you could have put over here um, so you got the step plus I wanted people to take their shoes off obviously and then this pe these pieces over here obviously they're on that side as well uh, this long piece here when you're sitting on when you're sitting on the back of the boat maybe you want to rest your hand back here you got something nice to rest it on and when you are putting your cover on your uh, poles the, the strap for your poles comes across here and it was starting to scuff the side of my boat so now it runs on top of this sea deck doesn't all it doesn't give me any scuffs on it uh, this piece here some of you might already know about and you'll see that I have it on backwards so I wasn't sure how to put this on uh, on the picture that Jetboat Pilot has uh, when they sell this uh, if you zoom in really close you can see the little tab actually is supposed to go on the inside and when I set it up that way I just taped it here and I taped it there and it looked to me like it comes here and it curves out but then it did this on the back side it looked weird to me so I put them on backwards and now that they're on backwards I guess maybe they should have gone the other way I don't know but just I just want to throw that out there yes I know they're on backwards I put them that way on purpose because I thought they would look better I don't know if they necessarily do another thing that I do not know about these is why don't they come all the way down uh, that was another reason we put them on backwards is because they seem to line up with this line better because they canted in rather than canting out. But uh, Will, if you happen to be watching this, why did you guys make them like a foot short? I'm, I'm curious. I'm sure you got a good reason, but uh, I'm curious as to why they're short. Although they look good and they are functional in my opinion. Uh, the other thing here on the back, besides these looking good, if you want to set things on the back of your boat, say a towel or something, because uh, if you're like me, I don't like water on my boat. I want it to stay nice. I want it to stay dry. So when the kids get out of the water, we step on the back here. We want to have towels here. Maybe we've got somebody sitting here. You can set towels on the back here that before they would slide off. Got a little bit of grip on here that they hold on to. So we've got that on both sides. And the other piece that we added was right over here. When uh, we got a cushion that goes here, obviously, but we don't use that cushion a lot. We've got a nice step there. That sea deck looks good. That cushion uh, doesn't look bad without it at all, in my opinion. So that takes the place of the cushion for the most part, and it gives you gives you a nice step. Um, sea deck is a lot better than uh, what they came from the factory on the back. This stuff, when you get it wet, is, is not slippery at all. 
the back here, while this looks really cool, uh, I've had several people, including myself, that this is wet on the back step on here, and it, it actually gets slipperier than what this actual seat, I think this is called marine mat. Uh, but it actually tends to get a little bit slipperier and it does not dry as fast as what the actual C deck does, in my opinion, in my experience. Uh, let's move on to number three. I actually did an install video on these. I got these bumpers, bumper cleats. They just snap right in there. They look very nice when you're not using them. They snap on there very easily when you do. They give you uh, a bumper that, in my opinion, works better than hanging it off of this back cleat. And I tried the suction cups, didn't have good luck with the suction cups. I actually lost one of my bumpers. That's why this bumper is a little bit too small for this uh, bumper holder. Uh, but that is the number three thing that I think that you need. You need that extra bumper there. I'm pretty happy with these clip-ons. Uh, if you look at the video that I did the install, I've got the link on where I got these and uh, relatively inexpensive. And in my opinion, they work very good. In fact, Whenever I have the kids help me put on the bumpers, everybody wants to put that bumper on. Let's move on to the number two thing. Now Yamaha put snaps on here so that we could snap these closed, but I have found that uh, if you don't use the snaps, you just tuck it in here. When you lift up the seat, it tends to catch and it starts to rip your snap off a little bit. Or when you are not paying attention and somebody new is on your boat and doesn't notice that that is snapped on, They'll just yank it, and as you can see, they ripped my snap off. This is uh, not positive who did this, but uh, somebody ripped the snap off, and I'm not particularly happy about that. So how do we get rid of this, but still have it when we need it? And that is what we did over here on this side. So I took off this snap, or this, this bolt, and I put a snap on it. So I can just snap my hook here. It is out of the way. It closes. And somebody else comes in here, wants to get in. They typically they don't get in this one. They want to get in this one because this is where the cooler is. They can pop it up. They can close it, whatever. And it is out of the way. It's not catching on anything. If I need to snap it, I can unsnap it there. And I can snap it down for hauling uh, or trailering it, whatever I want to do. If I want to leave it snapped. When I don't want to leave it snapped. And you can pick these, these little snap. There's actually a screw with a snap on the end. And you can pick them up for like $1.99. So... Uh, that is the fourth thing that I think that, or the second thing, are we on the second or the fourth thing? However, however order you want to do that in. That's one of the things that I definitely think you need on your Yamaha boat. And the last and final thing, when I'm loading my boat, I always power load my boat. And since this steering wheel looks the same from every direction, I actually had my graphics guy paint the uh, one of the forks here. And that's the one that says the steering wheel is pointed forward. So when I'm driving onto my, onto my trailer, maybe it's a little bit windy, right? I'm turning, I'm trying to line up, I'm trying to line my boat up with my trailer. Now I can't actually see my roller from this trailer once I get, or from this boat, once I get halfway on my trailer. So I drive up until I feel like I'm pretty close. I go over and I look at my, uh, my roller and I make sure that my boat is straight on it. In case I'm a little bit crooked or whatever, I can, I can straighten it out, make sure I drive on that last little bit straight. And I come back here and I'm like, well, hell, which way am I pointed? Well, now I always know which way is straight. And that little thing there is pretty freaking cool. I think that uh, Yamaha should have done something to give us an idea of which way is straight on this steering wheel because you've got right I mean if, if without any kind of markings that could be straight 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 like where the hell well now we know that's straight and those are the five things in my opinion that you need on your Yamaha boat there's another thing that we're gonna probably do next year and that is put a cleat in the very center of the boat because when you anchor it you're really your front cleats are really off to the side you're really pulling your anchor from from a, a sideways uh, kind of kind of a weird angle. And I know that on the new 25 foot boats, they put a cleat right in the middle inside of that locker for you to hook your anchor on. And I'm pretty sure we're going to add one of those next year. And uh, if we do, we'll show you how we do it. But these are, in my opinion, the five things that you need on your Yamaha boat. If you've got other things that you think, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Or maybe some of these won't be a, a, a good fit for you but uh, these are the five things that are good for me so if you're watching the channel for the first time and you haven't already and you want to a 
Zoom. Please subscribe. <laughs>